Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the LDCX train bots Voyager FD steam engine <laughs> whole bunch of words that doesn't mean much <laughs> so yeah this is not a transformer per se it's a new series called LDCX train bots uh, I fell in love with this one in particular but there's a whole bunch in the series that came out so uh, yeah we'll just gonna check it out so this is a booklet that comes with it and shows all of the other ones from the series that came with it well th that came out at, uh, at the same time and this one as the steam engine so yeah the art of super train first collection so you have the uh, table over here so we have this one right here those are all, all uh, hard so it's not like just uh, real photos but most of them transform pretty much similar so you have uh, two or three th different types of uh, that series you have the deluxe the voyager and the leaders now this one is part of the voyager so you can see this is the one that i got the fd and the other ones are pretty much very similar transform uh, i guess pretty similarly like this and then we get to the leader ones where they have much more uh, guns and stuff to go with them I guess so yeah and then we have the smaller one which are uh, kind of like deluxe so you have these ones and uh, yeah like I said there were a bunch of those in the series but I only picked up the steam engine for uh, one and only reason I'll go back to this later but uh, yeah next up we have the instructions that comes with it so on one side we have from robot to train and the other side is from train to robot so that's kind of cool uh, one thing to mention is that they remain uh, they, they rely heavy on uh, parts forming so be uh, weary of that uh, we do have a QR code here I'm not sure where it lands to I haven't checked yet but uh yeah, China Railway, FD, <laughs> steam engine. So yeah, this is a steam engine and I really am in love with steam engines, uh, the old kind of looking trains. And this one in particular, uh, what uh, really got me um, to take it. Uh, well, first off, you have the wagon right here. And yeah, so you have the locomotive right here and you have the uh, sort of like uh, charcoal, uh, coal mining cart. It's a little bit long, but yeah, it works. But you can see this is a little bit stiff. You can unplug them, and it comes with this connector right here that you plug it here, plug it here, and now the train can move. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is a uh, red and black steam engine, and the reason why I picked up picked that up is because it looks so damn much like the GoBot Loco. And I'm a really big fan of the GoBot logo. I mean, I don't have a lot of GoBots. I do have my logo right here. So, yeah, it's all red, black, and gold. And it's pretty much the same thing with this one. So you have GoBot logo right here. But GoBot logo also came out recently as the Action Robots. So, yeah, again, logo, pretty much the same. The locomotive, black, red. And this one is also black and red. So... To me, this looked like a sort of a, a new design for Loco. <laughs> so yeah, you have a sort of a small difference in size. <laughs> and another uh, size comparison, we have the Siege uh, Astro Train. I mean, it's not really the same uh, series, but whatever. I needed uh, something to compare it with. And locomotives with the charcoal box uh, cart. Uh, works great, so <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and if these didn't work for comparison, I have my trusty Earthrise hoist. <laughs> so, yeah, he is a lengthy one with all the wagon. So, yeah, there's not much to it in train mode besides the, now that we have the connector, it does uh, squeak a little bit, but yeah. Uh, not a lot of detail, but it's a very nice, sleek design locomotive. Really nice. The wheel doesn't spin right here. We do have some wheels underneath. And the robot mode is uh, okay, I guess. Some, some kibble, but not that much. 
So yeah, really nice looking locomotive. <laughs> and uh, transformation, well that's really easy. Well, like I said, it's re it relies a lot on part forming. So first up, you, re you remove the connector. If you want, you can connect it right now, but let's not. So <laughs> yeah, uh, transformation, like I said, rely a lot on part forming. So first up, you want to take off the uh, front of the engine. Put it inside, come to the charcoal cart and remove the backside like this. Come to the uh, charcoal uh, cart, uh, flip these open like this, flip it on the side, flip this on the side. This is going to be the feet, so flip the, these up like this, and separate the legs like this. So you have two legs. And let's try, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Next up, you want to take the back and front of the cart. Those are going to be arms. So you want to split this apart like this. Flip this down. Flip this like this. So it, it just it goes like this. It goes like this. And then you can see the slider. So you slide this all the way down. Flip this down again. And turn this around like this. And Pretty much it. You can flip it on the side. I like to flip it on the side. Transformation lets you, uh, lets you leave it like this. But to me, it kind of hides the detail of the gun. So I like to put it on the side like this. So you have a nice Gatling gun on here. So yeah, you have one arm done. Transformation, pretty much the same on the other arm. So split this open. Split this down like this. Slide it down. Flip this up this up and now you have the wrist right here that you can pull this out like this and flip this around and there you go and this will be like this yeah. <laughs> so you have both arms and finally for the torso you take the uh, engine like this you flip this like this bring it all the way back like this and you have like this big peg will peg in here like this you take the fake front engine you lift it up and you bring it down like this and then you push it back in like this and then you can lift the head up like this so you have a really nice head so uh, next up you want to unpick these uh, side panels they are really tight Uh, uh, uh. Uh, all right, so I got one, and then you bring it all the way down like this. Same thing for the other one. So you need to unpeg it, and it's really freaking tight right here. This peg, you can use a plunger and bring it here, and there you go. Like that clip right here is really tight, and then you bring it all the way down like this split the legs open and the transformation uh, the instruction tells you to point them like this I don't really like that but yeah, okay let's do it for transformation sake so yeah you have like this and uh, that's pretty much it so yeah yeah you pull out the torso a little bit mine uh, wasn't too pulled out a so yeah, we have the torso and everything. Now you, 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 we just assemble, and let's move the camera up, because, yeah, he is a big fella. So we have one leg right here, and you have nice details right here. That's really cool. So we slide it in here, like this. The other leg, like this. One arm, we come to the oops, side right here, flip this open, flip this open. So take the arm, slide it in. Slide it in, I say. All right, <laughs> and the engine again, right here. Oops. These kind of hard. All right, and voila, we have the steam engine transform. So let's move the camera a little bit up. Move some more. 
So yeah, he is really damn cool. I really dig this. He is really good looking. <laughs> so yeah, uh, steam engine from uh, the Voyager series, uh, LDC or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really damn nice. Uh, articulation, we do have a little bit bending on the knees, but not so much. If you, you need to split this open, and then the leg can move a bit more. So, yeah. I just pulled it out. <laughs> yeah, the leg does move, but the backpack right here really hinders everything. So, yeah, not much else we can do for this. Oh, wait, we can split these apart. I didn't know that. So, yeah. And now, yeah, it bends a little bit. One click, maybe two. Like this. The, 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 the ankle does tilt. That's pretty cool. Goes down, like up. Uh, don't have weight circulation. The arms can rotate, can bend like this. We do have elbow. We do have another swivel right here. The wrist can move down. No rotation. The head, uh, nothing at the head. It's a little disappointing. But yeah, we do have a really nice looking head. <laughs> the tiny engine on. The top is so amazing. I am in love with this. <laughs> it's so cool. But uh, yeah, and the other hand just have a Gatling gun. So it's not that bad. But uh, yeah, really, really cool. To me, this is a new iteration of a Loco and I am in love with it. Uh, like I said, the other Voyager pretty much all transformed the same as he does. Uh, the later ones are just uh, the same but with much more... Uh, Stuff, kibbles and guns and cannon coming up and you know, stuff going out, uh, out of it. <laughs> it's cool, but mm, yeah, I, I just wanted to steam engine because I really love old trains. So, yeah, amazing one. Uh, let's compare it with the other Locos. <laughs> Here we have Astro Train with all of his uh, power armor. Let's <laughs> move the gun because got it in his face but yeah all the power armor on with the boots and everything so yeah he is a really big fella <laughs> otherwise we have the loco uh, action toys so the most recent one and we have the g1 loco right here which is really tiny <laughs> and just for the fun of it we have the hoist earth rise so earth siege or fry or fries <laughs> i always make them up so, yeah, the LDCX train bots Voyager FD steam engine. Really awesome figure. I am really in love with it. It's an amazing figure. The transformation. Okay, I'm not a very, real, real big fan of uh, part forming, but it's a really uh, good, classy one, I guess. Like, it, it, it's involved, but it's really fun at the same time. I mean, it's not like Power Ranger level, but it's still pretty cool. But yeah, I, the colors and everything, everything is so sleek, so uh, nicely designed. And I mean, it's really nice and uh, just the head skull, I mean, so in love with it. I mean, we have the small, I know I've already said it, but I'm really in love with it. I have the small locomotive with the cow catcher at, at the mouth guard. And, oh man, I am really happy with this. It's such an awesome figure. So yeah. Forgot to show it in the back when you have this. I mean, we do have the um, connector right here. I'm not sure what to do with it. Uh, we can place it in here, I guess. It holds. It's not that much. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, really cool figure. I highly recommend this. And uh, I'm maybe going to pick up some more of the same series because they are pretty cool. I mean, like I said, the, all the Voyager transform pretty much the same. All the Deluxe transform pretty much the same. All the, the Leader... They are pretty much the same, just different ridiculous. So I might pick up a leader and a deluxe one later on. So, yeah. <laughs> so I got this from SiriToys.com. They're really cheap, so go and check it out. Uh, they are really awesome. The series is still available. And, yeah, really cool. I'm going to put the link in the description below the video if you're interested. So check it out. And uh, in the meantime, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.